How to play No Limit Texas Hold'em. No Limit Texas Hold'em is the Rolls Royce of poker. The game the big boys play. The game the World Series of Poker is all about. The game you want to play. You will need a standard deck of playing cards, poker chips or money to bet with, a deal of button or chip, a small blind button or chip, a big blind button or chip, a working knowledge of poker hands, a group of players, and a table or surface to play on. Step one, choose a dealer for the first hand and denote that person with the dealer button placed on the table. Step two, the dealer shuffles and cuts the deck of cards. Step three, the player to the left of the dealer is given the small blind button indicating that he or she posts a small blind bet. The player two places to the left of the dealer is given the big blind button and places the big blind bet. These are considered the ante and vary from game to game. Step four, the dealer deals two cards face down to each player. Everyone assesses his or her hand and the first round of betting follows, beginning with the player to the left of the big blind and continuing clockwise. Each player's two private cards are called his or her hole or pocket cards. Step five, each player can call and or raise the blind bet or fold their hand. In no limit games, any player can also go all in, staking all their remaining money or chips at once. It's this chance to win big or go bust that brings no limit hold'em games their reputation for high stakes and higher drama. Drawing a two or seven in different suits is considered the worst possible slotting hand for a game of Texas Hold'em. If you get them, fold them. Two aces is the best possible draw. Step six. After the first round of betting, the dealer burns or discards one card, then turns up three communal cards called the flop in the middle of the table. Step seven. A second round of betting follows the flop, starting with the player to the left of the dealer button and continuing clockwise. Step eight, after the second round of betting, the dealer burns another card and turns up a fourth communal card called the turn. Step nine, a third round of betting follows the turn. Step 10, finally the dealer burns another card, then turns up a fifth communal card called the river. Step 11, a fourth and final round of betting follows the river. Step 12, if everyone but a single player has folded, that remaining player is the winner and doesn't have to reveal his or her cards. Step 13. If two or more players remain, they reveal their cards in what is called the showdown. The winner is the player with the highest five card poker hand made up of any combination of the five community cards and his or her two private cards. If two or more players have the same winning hand, the pot is divided evenly. In the showdown, the last player to call the bet shows their cards last. If nobody is bet, it's the person to the left of the dealer's button. Step 14. When a hand has been played to completion, the dealer, small blind, and big blind buttons rotate clockwise one player to begin the next hand. Did you know, Texas singer Kenny Rogers knows when to hold them and when to fold them. He's had five wives in his many decades. <laughs>